shocked how many are on medication themselves. Lady got very upset with me one day. She said, I'm a psych nurse. I'm not on medication. I said, I'm so glad. And I'm not saying all are, but there is an element. Caffeine is a deception. It gives you a lift, but not long after that, it's going to give you the dump. To take caffeine for a lift is like taking out a loan to pay off your loan. Eventually there's a deficit, isn't there? And there's definitely a deficit with drinking coffee and it, it's right here. Now I've got a warning. If you're drinking coffee, don't stop or you'll suffer badly. Start reducing. <laughs> you have three cups a day, start having three half cups a day and just slowly reduce it down. Because I know everyone here wants to keep this running well. Refined sugar, it causes a fuel imbalance, whereas the caffeine causes a chemical imbalance. Any mind-altering drug is going to interfere with the prefrontal cortex. Inhale. This prefrontal cortex is part of the brain, and the brain has one trillion cells. And every single one of those cells has an energy cycle in it. Here is a brain cell. And the energy cycles are in here. And if that brain cell can get oxygen, it'll give you 18 times more energy. And the best way to get oxygen into the brain is to breathe where God designed you to. Genesis 2 verse 7, the Bible says, and God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils. Where? Nostrils, the breath of life. And he became a living soul. Nostrils. The nostrils have been designed to take the air in and take the air out, not mouth. Mouth is for singing and talking and eating and kissing and wind instruments, not breathing. That's another huge deception, is to breathe through the mouth. So practice, everyone's got their mouth shut at the moment. <laughs> practice nose breathing. This is the uh, nerve cell. Our nerve cell, which is our brain, is made up of one trillion of these. Knowing how they work also gives us an indication of how the brain works. So this is the arm that comes out of the nerve cell. All the little messengers, chemical messengers come in and sometimes they can be moving anywhere between 2 and 200 miles an hour. They're encapsulated, they come down the arm into the little bouton and then they release out and there they connect with the next nerve cell. It is estimated that one nerve cell can communicate with 20,000 other nerve cells. What an incredible creation is the brain. And what a huge deception of the enemy to deceive people into doing things that little by little break this brain down. So make sure you're inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Nose purifies the air, nose humidifies the air, nose warms the air. Nose balances the blood gases, nose pressurizes the air. Mouth does not do any of that. The biggest challenge is when you're exercising. But even then you can, you can train yourself into it. Nutrition. What nutrition does the brain need? We've looked at the three essential nutrients this week. The three essentials are fibre. Fibre slowly releases the glucose, so it gives a nice steady supply. Your best are your vegetables, your fruit, all your plant foods. Protein, best proteins are the plant proteins, your legumes, your nuts and seeds. Fats. One of the biggest deceptions given to mankind over the last 30, 40 years is this fat-free diet. It's a crazy diet. 
because the fattiest organ in the body is the brain. Every organ in the body, every cell in the body, has a membrane around it which is 50% fat, but not the brain. The brain is 70% fat. And that other 30% comes from this little fatty sheath that surrounds the nerve cell. And that fatty sheath is a myelin sheath. It conducts the messages through, it insulates, it protects, and it nourishes the nerve cell. So it's a protection that God put there against what he knew would be exposed to today, chemicals, heavy metals, etc., etc. So if someone's on a fat-free diet, they're on cholesterol-lowering medication because that's, that's like a fatty cholesterol that protects that. So let's say they're on a fat-free diet, cholesterol-lowering medication, and they're eating tuna three times a day because they want to put on muscle, and tuna is well known to have mercury in it, and they've got mercury fillings in their mouth. There's no protection. That mercury starts to eat away at that. That's a big contributing factor to multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, dementia, and Alzheimer's. We've been deceived. Can you see that? That's why any health professional that says to you, you've got this, you should be on this, the best thing you can say is thank you so much for your advice. I'm going to, I'm going to seriously consider these things. And then you go home and you do what God says. You don't have the spirit of fear, but of power, love. Your sound mind assesses. Now, what can I do? What options do I have here? That is one option. What is another option? Now, Google has opened the door to inflammation. Inflammation. I nearly said inflammation. <laughs> Just about. The internet has opened the door to information, but what also has it done? Brought confusion. Isn't that true? And that's why I love using the BHSC method. Because using the BH, BHSC method, you can determine truth. So let me just put something through the BHSC method to show you. Coconut oil.